everybody, what's up? I'm Steven. And I'm Clay. And we are the Hills Maniacs. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing our predictions for WWE's last pay-per-view of the year, TLC, streaming live this Sunday on the WWE Network. Let's get into it. To start with the women's tag team title match, the match I don't care about. Um, it's Again, Shayna and Baszler and Nia Jax, who are the current champions, defending against Asuka and Toby Determined. That's that new superstar. That's good that they're letting him, him wrestle. Yeah, I don't know why he's wrestling in the women's well, division. At least he's wrestling. Yeah, um, all, basically, Lana got taken out. It was supposed to be Lana. So now Asuka's teaming with a mystery partner. I don't really care to predict who the mystery partner is going to be, but I think that Shayna and Nia are going to retain. Um, some people are saying it might be like Charlotte comes back and teams with Asuka, and then that somehow builds to their feud for the women's title. Because Charlotte needs to be back in the women's picture. I don't know what they're going to do. So I've heard it could be Lana that just comes back and they just pretend they just that never happened. forget that she yeah. was never even... Or that maybe Asuka will give up her spot to let Dana, Brooke, and uh, Mandy Rose get a shot. And I hope I that know. leads to a Raw Women's title match that night. That way, the Raw Women's Champion can actually defend her title. This is true. But, yeah, so I'm going with Shane Naya to retain. Mm. Yeah, I got Asuka and whoever. Because I, I don't really care. I'm tired of seeing the same people with champions all the time. Um, yeah, that's true. But I, I still say Oscar should be doing something, you know, defending her title rather than trying to fight yeah. for another one. But And the fact that, like, none of these, ma almost none of these matches have stipulations is weird. Can, like, only the two main matches have tables. Well, they should, see, in my opinion, they, sh they shouldn't have made the, the women's tag team titles to begin with. You'd think the story they were going with is that Lana was now going to put Nia Jax through a table, but I guess they're not doing that. Now, I've, I've also heard a rumor, what if Kyrie Sane returns as Oscar's partner, and then they win back the, the women's tag team titles. But again, Oscar's the Raw Women's Champion, so... I would rather see her defending the title than fighting for the women's yeah. tag title. But I don't care about this match. Yeah, I'm picking Asuka and whoever because I really don't care. I hope this match is on the pre-show so I don't have to watch it. But. <laughs> really? Another tag team title match. The Raw tag team titles are on the line. Um, the Hurt Business, which is it's only two members of it, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, versus The New Day, which is, of course, Xavier Woods and Kofi. No Big E. Rest in peace, Big E. He's not dead. He's on SmackDown. Same thing. Mm. Well, um, in his career. I be. think the Hurt Business is actually going to win this time and take the titles. That way, because that seems to be what they've been building to. And finally, a new team will have the titles. Yep. So either exactly. that or there's. it seems like there's been a little bit of tension. Like Cedric Alexander seems to be all high on himself. And he, he, that might end up causing their backfire. Um, I hope they don't break up the... I mean, they're not going to break up the whole team, probably, but they might kick out Cedric for whatever reason. But we'll have to see how that goes. But I think right now... As of right now, I think Cedric and Shelton are going to win them. Maybe that tension causes them to lose the titles eventually. But um, I, too, said the Hurt Business. Um, I've, I've said before, the Hurt Business is actually one of my favorite factions in the company right now. Uh, I think they're, they're just great. And even though they don't wrestle all the time, like all four of them, you know, together, uh, I, I think this is a fantastic faction. Uh, and the whole retribution thing kind of hurt both teams in that. But um, Hurt Business will win. Uh, I don't know if this will lead to the breakup of, you know, Cedric leaving or whatever. But um, I, I don't like seeing teams win titles over and over and over like the new day like trading done. it back and forth well no i mean just in general like the new day did you know the new day is what eight time champion nine time whatever probably ten and, or ten even and i don't like that personally for me championship should be defended you can win it back once or twice but when you're winning the title ten times like, you don't need to do that. You because can, they have no other Just let other people win the titles. So I hope they let the Hurt Business 
win the titles finally because Shelton and Cedric, I, I love this team and, and I think they deserve it. So that's my pick. Um, okay, next up we have the SmackDown women's title match. Sasha Banks defending against Carmella. I think Sasha's going to win. I think Carmella pretty much just came back. Or at least started her new gimmick like in the ring, actually. And they did have a match on SmackDown that ended in a DQ. But I actually think Carmella is going to win by another disqualification or a countout or something. So that they can build up another match for them at the Yay. Royal Rumble. I know. That's exciting. But, I mean... It's as if they have nobody else for Sasha to face, because she fought Bailey a hundred times already. But well, yeah, so I think Sasha's going to retain the title, but by disqualification, um, and Carmella's therefore going to win the match. Then they can fight again. So you're saying Carmella wins the match, yes. but not the title. Carmella wins the match, but not the title. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm picking Sasha to just retain the title, win the match, everything. Uh, I'm picking Sasha just because I don't think she's going to lose to Carmella. I think something will happen where she'll end up either losing it at Rumble or the Rumble winner will challenge Sasha at Mania for the title. Um, you think she's going to go the whole way to WrestleMania? Like, who, who knows? Maybe Bailey wins the Rumble and challenges Sasha for her title back. So she could oh, no. she could end up going till April or May. No, Charlotte's coming back. Um, but who knows? She, maybe Becky will come back to SmackDown. Who knows? Not yet. Um, but Sasha Banks, that, that's my pick. All right, next up was a match that was recently given a new stipulation. I'm guessing this is going to be some kind of new, maybe a cine, I hope it's not a cinematic match, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. The Fiend versus Randy Orton has been made into a Firefly, fun, uh, not a Firefly Funhouse, a Firefly Inferno match, um, which I'm guessing is just a normal Inferno match, I would assume, like what they used to do so. back in the early 2000s I guess like with Kane and, and Kane used to be in some a lot he fought MVP and one. he burned MVP yeah the, I mean yeah. basically the object is to burn catch your opponent on fire by leaning right. them against the rope I guess the ropes are on or something well, by the, the ropes yeah, is on fire and you're supposed to you know throw them into it to set them on fire um I think that Orton is going to win the match here because if that's the way to win the match then that's easier than pinning the fiend and it makes the Fiend still not look bad. Like, Orton didn't pin him to win. So, that doesn't take anything away from the Fiend. He just wins the match by catching him on fire. Then they can have another match. Who knows, this could be, maybe they write the Fiend off TV for a while until WrestleMania. Because he's, like, healing from his burn wounds. And then he comes back and, like, Orton doesn't expect him to come back. Because he's burned alive. Or the you Fiend know. win the Rumble. But then Orton he comes the back title. anyways. But yeah, so that's what, I think that's going to lead into another match between them, because technically Orton doesn't win, like he didn't pin the Fiend, so the Fiend will keep coming back. Even though he was burned alive, Orton thinks he's like, you know, dead, and then he comes back again. Um, yeah, I mean, see, it's not that WWE hasn't had the Fiend lose by pinfall before. I mean, he freaking lost to Goldberg, but... Goldberg. We don't we don't mention that. Um, see now I I picked the Fiend to win because I think it is going to be a cinematic match because as of recently at least they've been taking the uh, they've been taking advantage of the fact that there are no fans in the arena, so they'll film something ahead of time and then just kind of place That's it in. Probably true. You know, like like when the when uh, the Orton was fighting um, Bray, and then the Fiend. You know, he he like threw him out of the ring or whatever, and then the fiend popped up behind him, or the lights went out and the fiend was there. Yeah, it was it was pre-recorded, pre recorded and and put in because there's no fans to notice. So yeah. and because when the fiend comes out, everything goes dark and on the screens anyways, none of the fans would notice that. Yeah. You know, so they're taking advantage of this, and so I think what will end up happening is because it is called the Firefly Inferno match. I have some kind of feeling that this will be a cinematic type thing where Rambling Rabbit and Huskis the, the pig and, uh, you know, Abigail the witch and maybe Alexa Bliss uh, somehow get involved or distract Orton or something. 
Um, I don't know if this is going to be an Inferno match like we think. This could be some other kind of Inferno match. But I think The Fiend will win with these mind games. Or it's a normal match and they're play. just slapping a fancy title on it. And it well, and it also seems like every time the the fiend is in a match that has to do with somebody who hurt Bray Wyatt, the fiend usually comes out on top. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna pick the fiend because I I think the way they're setting this up and the way they've been doing everything else cinematically. See, and that's least. why I went the opposite direction because I think that would be like the perfect swerve. Like we're not we don't expect Orton to win, but then in Orton's mind he thinks he like killed the fiend, he's done with the fiend, he won't have to worry about him anymore because he caught him on fire. See, but also stuff. But also and if they if they do choose to go with this cinematic type feel to this match, then you could have like Bray Wyatt and the fiend kind of switch back and forth. I mean, if if this is a traditional Inferno match, but just kind of like pre-recorded and, you know, other stuff happens, cool. If they add some kind of new take to this, where, like, instead of just fighting in the ring, like, they're they're in, like, a backstage area that's on fire or something, maybe that's, you know. Maybe the Firefly Funhouse is on fire. Or the Firefly Funhouse is on yeah. fire, and they fight in there, you know, or something. Um, I'd be okay with that, as long as they have it, you know... As long as they keep us entertained, I don't mind these cinematic things. You know, like AJ versus Undertaker at Mania was, was good, even though that was, uh, you know, it wasn't an actual if like, match. If done right, match. these cinematic matches right. So if they do it right, then I think I think it'll be fine. But um, um, so next up, we got one of the two, the, one of the only two TLC matches that are happening. At least right now, I mean, they haven't announced any other stipulations for some of the other matches. Yeah. I give it till it, Sunday, and then they'll add some it, It's TLC, and most of these matches are normal matches. Tables, ladders, and who cares? Let's go. What, what um, got? So, Drew McIntyre defending the WWE title against AJ Styles. Now, here's where things got interesting. Clay's going to be surprised that I'm saying this. I think The Miz is going to win this match. I think he's going to cash in his Money in the Bank contract, as much as I don't want to see it, during the match, when both Drew and AJ have somehow fallen off the ladder mm -hmm. or something like that, mm -hmm. and then Miz, either Morrison will help Miz climb the ladder, or Miz will climb the ladder and grab the title. This doesn't take anything away from Drew McIntyre, because Miz doesn't pin him and cash in right. the Money in the Bank, it still makes McIntyre look tough, AJ's still a good contender for it too. You can even have Drew versus AJ one on one to see who faces Miz for the title at the Rumble. Maybe they beat Miz for it at the Rumble, or Miz goes all the way to Mania and then loses it. I don't know, but this is kind of what I feel. It's not necessarily what I want to happen, but this is what I feel like is going to happen, because that would be the perfect like Miz thing to do. Would be to it's easier to climb a ladder probably than it is to get someone down True. enough to pin them. So. He's going to wait until the right opportunity. Either that or he's just going to come out. Him and Morrison will come out and push them off the ladder. And then they'll do it. But either way, I think... And that could even lead to a tag team match like Drew and AJ versus Miz and Morrison. Whatever. But the reason I... There is one reason, though, I'd want to see Miz as WWE Champion. It's so Morrison can take the belt off of him. I want to see Morrison win the title and stop this whole comedy duo thing he's got going on with the Miz. Because Morrison is really good in the ring. He think he deserves a world title finally, so I'd like to see him take the title off the Miz. Maybe that's the match they do at WrestleMania. I don't know. Morrison but, win the Rumble. But this is what I think is going to happen in the WWE title match: is that the Miz is going to cash in. So there's not going to be a winner between Drew and AJ in the middle of the match. It's going to be the Miz. Um. See, now for for some reason, when I think of a TLC match, I don't think of them climbing the ladder to grab the title. So I didn't even consider that as a possibility that the Miz would cash in during the well, match. Well, that's because over the years they've the had ladder. different rules for it. I know. Like the and, year and the now, Shield fought now this year the the, the 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 TLC matches you have to climb the ladder and and pull the title. So I I was I was gonna pick McIntyre to win, and I think I still am because I don't think Miz is gonna cash in yet. Um, but I think they're setting up McIntyre versus Sheamus at some point. So, because Sheamus has kind of been turning on, you know, it's kind turning of been on Drew by accident. Yeah. He's been turning on Drew, 
And so I think they'll set up Sheamus versus Drew either at Rumble or sometime later on. Uh, and and the Miz will end up doing something else. Now, I personally would like to see the Miz win the Rumble as Mr. Money in the Bank. Then he has two. He could go for both titles at Mania. But that that's a whole other story. Um, so I'm just gonna pick Drew to retain, even though AJ has almost at his you know in his corner. Usually, when somebody gets a big bodyguard, that means they're gonna win a title at some point. True, but or it seems like I it should. I just think something's gonna happen where Drew either Drew will take out Omos or. You know, Miz and Morrison will take out Omos or something, you know, by accident or something. You know, they'll try and cash in and they'll end up knocking him out. And then Drew will hit the Claymore and climb the ladder and win. Um, so I think Drew's going to win. I don't think Miz will cash in yet. But that, I mean, that's not a bad idea because this would be a way to have Miz win without pinning Drew. I just don't think it's going to happen yet. And finally, we're going to end on the Universal title match, which is also a TLC match. Um, it's Kevin Owens challenging Roman Reigns for the title. Um, I, th I think it's pretty obvious that Reigns is winning this. Yeah. I think he's going all the way to WrestleMania with the title, essentially. Probably to face The Rock. or I, I personally would rather see him lose it to Jey Uso, I think. And they brought back Goldberg. And they brought back Brock Lesnar. So who knows? They'll oh, probably no. get the Rock. You know they brought back Batista the one time to fight Triple H again for no reason. So yeah, I mean you never know with WWE. They'll bring back the Rock. Uh, I too am going with it, Roman. Yeah. By the way, he's definitely yeah. winning at TLC. Yeah, he, yeah they're not gonna ha they're not gonna build up this whole head of the table type of thing and have him lose it at some random pay per view like TLC. If he's gonna lose it, it'll be at one of the big you know, like Rumble or Mania or something. It won't be TLC. They wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay, and a couple bonus predictions. We actually recorded this video before SmackDown, so um, there might be some other matches or additions added to right. Sunday's pay-per-view. Maybe even on Sunday they'll add a couple because they do that. Vince. But we have two predictions here. One of them is an Intercontinental title match. The way they've been telling it, it seems like it's going to be Big E challenging Sami Zayn. Right. I have Big E winning if they do this match because... I mean, it seems like they've been pushing Big E, and I think it's time. Sami Zayn has technically held the Intercontinental title all year. I mean, he kind of won Since it. Since what? Bef I think he won Mania? it before WrestleMania because he defended it at WrestleMania against Daniel Bryan. Yeah. And then he, te I guess he lost it because, you know, he had to stay in Canada because of COVID or whatever. Or he stayed right. uh, wherever, or he he li to. wherever he lives, he chose to stay. So they stripped him of it, and then yeah. AJ and won then, it. Yeah. yeah. All that happened. But I think this would be good for Big E. Um, to win the title, it gives him Especially a push now. outside of New Day, so he's not being held down to just like the tag team division. Right. And it's not him fighting for the WWE title yet, because I don't think he's that level yet. Right. I we need to see him a couple years as a single star first, you know, before they get him into that. But right, I agree. Um, I also picked Big E, and I know it goes against what I said before with people re-winning titles, but. It's been since 2014 since Big E's held a singles championship, which was the Intercontinental title. Um, and, you know, Sami Zayn is eh. So to, to build up Big E being a singles star now, you know, aside from New Day, this would be a good opportunity to have him win another title. Um, and I, I'd be okay with it because I, I personally like Big E. I just... It's a shame that he hasn't held more singles titles like Kofi. You know, he's held, like, everything. <coughs> so the fact that, that uh, Big E didn't have the opportunity to do that because he was always part of New Day. You'd or think they or as, like, the, the bodyguard of Dolph Ziggler way back when or whatever, yeah. you know. So I I like this, that they, they still have New Day, but they split them up, you know, so Big E's by himself. So I, I, I would pick Big E if they... If they do an IC title if match. If they don't do it here, they'll probably do it maybe either on an episode of SmackDown in the coming weeks or probably at the Royal Rumble even. But, I mean, it'd probably make more sense if it was here because this is more recent to them building up this rivalry. Because they even had Big E versus Sammy on SmackDown mm -hmm. and Sammy sort of like won by count out. Well, so. he's, he's won every match. Like <clears throat> so, so it'd be nice to see like Big E take the title off of him. If not Big E, then maybe Daniel Bryan in there because 
he had a little bit of a run in with him before that, but we'll see where that goes, I guess. Um, and finally, another match we think might be added is another match from Raw, um, based on the storytelling and everything else. I think there's going to be a United States title match, Bobby yeah. Lashley versus Riddle. Um, I think Lashley's going to retain just so that the Hurt Business has three titles. Because like I said earlier, I think the Hurt Business, the other two, Cedric and Shelton, are going to win the tag team titles. So they're starting to build up, you know, them, build them as a faction, give them all these titles. Then you have probably MVP win a title, probably the 24-7 WWE title, WWE being honest. Yes, I agree. I don't think you'll win the WWE title. What's wrong title, with the 24-7 we'll title? But, um, yeah, so I think, I don't think Riddle is necessarily ready for, I mean, I know he, he's okay in the ring, like, he's not my favorite superstar, but, uh, I mean, I, I know a lot of people are high on him and everything, um, if they were to give someone else a shot, it, it could be Jeff Hardy, too, because he's kind of had issues with the Hurt Business over the last couple weeks, and they've had that whole thing with Riddle teaming with Jeff Hardy and the True. New Day against True. them and things like that, so, there's maybe, I think Riddle and Hardy are probably going to end up as a tag team. Is what it's looking mm -hmm. like. So maybe they'll be the ones that take the titles from Cedric and Shelton. See, but now I pick. I'm picking Riddle to win the. If they do the U.S. title match, I'm picking Riddle to win. Lashley's held it for quite a while, and yes, I do like the Hurt business, and I'm not a fan of Riddle at all, and I don't care if you hate me because <sighs> I don't like Riddle. But I think it would be good to have somebody different in the title picture. Plus. It would prove that he's not just that silly, goofy, you know, just whatever type of guy. That he's actually a, you know, a good superstar and he can he can win titles. Because really, the only other title he's won was the NXT Tag Titles, and he didn't even like defend those. So, or barely. Mm. So, you know, it would be nice to see him win a title, even though I don't like him. And I think you're right with the the. Uh, him and Jeff, they were talking, and he said they could call them the Hardy Bros, so the Hardy Boys, and they're totally doing that. Probably. So, anyways. All right, um, so there you go, guys. Those were our predictions for this Sunday's TLC pay-per-view, the final pay-per-view of 2020. Um, let me know what you guys think of our video down in the comments section. What are your predictions? We'd love to hear those. And like and subscribe for more videos like this, everybody. We try to predict like all the pay-per-views and stuff but uh, we need to predict when 2020 might end that's what we need to predict that's true um, <laughs> take care <laughs> everybody and stay safe out there bye guys subscribe